and welcome to the weekly wrap up on FourCornersTV.com, your source for the best stories from the previous week's local roundup. And in this week's news, Colorado is making bank in the marijuana department. Tax collections showed that the state sold about $22 million worth of recreational pot in April, meaning we raked in about $5.3 million in recreational tax revenue. But was the Mary Jane moneymaker due to April 20th's pot party in the city park or the cannabis cup? 420, our holiday, our Easter, our Christmas, stoner Christmas, you know what I'm saying? That's how we do. I'd like to think so. Unfortunately, Cortez and Dolores won't be reigning recreational revenue. In fact, the Cortez City Council finally decided to extend their retail marijuana moratorium until December 31st. Dolores, on the other hand, is considering a ban on recreational pot until December 31st, 2016. Their final hearing will be July 14th. Though another market in a similar field has finally opened up, industrial hemp is now legal for farmers to cultivate. Kentucky and Colorado are now the only two states forging ahead this year. The last step, though, breaking those barriers by the federal authorities to seed acquisition. Once that takes place, farming begins. And the newest device invented for farmers to keep better track of what's happening on their fields? Drones, but of course. By deploying a drone to survey crops, farmers can now spot water issues, insect infestations, and fungal infections in the nick of time. The U.S. is the epitome of innovation, but did you ever think we'd come out with a plastic car? Ford came out with a model similar to the Fusion, but 800 pounds less and plastic. And get this, plastic is pretty safe. These vehicles are acing government crash safety tests. Acing the bare safety test, the can shed. It's a new structure designed to protect trash containers from hungry bears. The can shed was invented by a resident of Boulder where the device will be available this summer. Probably worth it seeing as how these two grizzlies at Yellowstone's Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center couldn't even tear it apart. Tearing up the soccer field in Brazil, only the best of the best at the World Cup. It kicked off Thursday and it's already getting heated. Kind of like this game played by Tibetan monks. They were moving and grooving to what I like to think is a combination of Soul Train and the Olympics. Pretty impressive, especially with those robes. And I was getting all geared up this weekend when I hit the Upper Animus, where rafting got pretty rowdy. Watch the entire Upper Animus adventure today at 10 a.m. only on FourCornersTV.com. Thanks for watching the weekly wrap up. I'm Laura Schweizer and I'll see you next Sunday.